Learning to sling your left arm through the golf ball is one of the best things you can do for your golf swing because it's going to result in this. These consistent straight and long golf shots. It's what we see all the top pros do and I'm going to show you two drills to do that's going to make you do it. So slinging or catapulting that left arm through the golf ball is huge in the pro game but it's something we don't see amateur golfers do. We will see amateur golfers normally having their left arm slowed down going through the shot having that chicken wing structure that we all too commonly see. So why it's so important to have that left arm powerfully accelerate through the shot is two reasons. So number one, of course, speed, distance. So just hitting shots here where I'm really feeling like everything's firing through, especially that left arm, we're gonna see some really good distances come up and that's gonna be something that's gonna massively help, of course, play better golf. Further we hit it, the better we're going to do. So for reference there, that's an eight iron distance. So this is something we see all players do. Top players will continually have that left arm gradually build up more speed going through the shot, not slow down like we see amateur golfers. So distance massively. Secondly, and that is club face control. When this left arm continues to accelerate through the shot, of course, it creates this nice extension post impact, this distance between club and body, which keeps this club working on the arc nicely, which keeps it square to target. So again, if we hit a couple shots here, really propelling that left arm through, we're gonna see time and time again, it's gonna go fairly straight of a shot. So those two then let's straight away now slow down the left arm and we're gonna see what's gonna happen straight away. So you can see that ball went left pretty much instantly because slowing down that left arm will break the arm down. So chicken wing style of structure, which loses control of club face for me there, made me flip it over to the left. So okay, how we get this left arm speeding up, going through the shot, isn't actually trying to speed up your left arm at all. It's how you move your body. So this is where whenever we measure players and we see their hands or their arms traveling very fast, going into the downswing, a lot of golfers will draw that information if they're trying to move their arms, or let's say in this case, their left arm fast. They're not. They're just moving their body in a specific way to speed up this movement. This is no different. So what we see with players, we'll see as they get to a round, especially with an iron here, shaft parallel to the ground, we'll see this start to happen. The left leg start to straighten, start to snap, and gradually do that movement. What that does, that incredibly increases this left arm speed going through the golf ball. Because when this left leg straightens, that pulls the left shoulder to go up and around. So when that left shoulder goes up and around, you can see that catapult and flings that left arm. I'm just straightening that left leg, straightens the left side, pulls the left shoulder up and around, speeds up the left arm. It's all in that movement. But what else happens when you do that? The body also clears more and you're able to turn more around the corner. It's what really helps to continue to rotate the hips through the golf ball. So snapping that left leg straight, coming from impact zone through the golf ball, so shaft parallel through, is the key to speeding and slinging, catapulting the left arm through the shot. So snap that left leg straight, show you a drill, two drills to do to be able to get this. Okay, so here are the two drills. They're all done with this, an alignment stick. So the first one, is just with one arm, and this is with the left arm here. Now, as we just noticed, snapping the left leg straight, going through the impact zone area, is what propels that left arm through, through left shoulder, going up and around. So we wanna create a big whoosh going through impact area, but we want it happening via this, left leg straight and up and around. So here we go. So we want that big whoosh, preferably just after where impact would be but I'm not doing it just with my left arm. You'll hurt your shoulder if you do that. You want it via left leg straightening. So look there, look at that left leg snapping up. Absolutely brilliant. That will get you there. Really big whoosh, alignment stick. Here's the second drill. This is almost like a routine. Get the alignment stick, pull it on the ground. So you can see I'm putting it just outside my right foot and it's on my toe line. So the toe line, line of the toes, that's where I want the stick. Now what we do, we want this to elevate into the air around a driver ball position. So at the front of our stance, but we don't want to do that via dragging it up. We want to do it via straightening the left leg. If we straighten that left leg, like we said, left shoulder's gonna go up and round, it's gonna elevate the stick. 
there we go. And you can also hear a little bit of a whoosh. So you can see if I did this, a bunch, let's say three of them, and then went here, did three of these straight afterwards, get that sensation, and then grab my golf club, couple practice swings, really getting that left side to straighten, snap, propels the left arm through. Straight away, we hit some good shots. It's a great way to work on the efficiency of that left side. Like we said at the beginning, the speed that left arm travels through the shot, it's acceleration, it's continuous acceleration, is gonna help you hugely for distance and actually all the best players, that left arm accelerates through the golf ball. It doesn't slow down like we see amateur golfers do. Practice this little routine, you're gonna get into your swing too. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button if you want more golf instruction, just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video.